Hello everybody and welcome to Average Abilities episode, are we on 10 or 11? This is 11 isn't it? 11 anime review right at the end. Sorry this is a couple days late, things happen and all that. Yeah but this episode was, uh, I mean it was more of the, more of the, the more slice of lifey, less, what do you call it, less, um, well it was less, uh, you know, serious until the end, then it got pretty serious. But uh, yeah, it, it looks like it's going to reach a fine average conclusion, which is, w was that intentional? I'm almost willing to bet it was, uh, but again, maybe not. But anyway, let's crack on with the episode. I'm not sure this is going to be too long, but hey, uh, let's do this. So we open up with the episode and the three, four, there's four of them. They're doing a camping trip. Hooray. The other three are remarkably calm and relaxed and this annoys Mile because that's not what it's meant to be. And then there's a, a, a Doraemon reference which I, I didn't get because I've not seen it but she she said that's what it was. So I, I got it. Well she didn't say it because copyright but she said it and it got cut off and then she... It was very clever to avoid the copyright but we all knew what she was saying. Um, later on at the guild they're the centre of attention because they stopped the Wyvern, the Wyvern, remember that? Uh, so they decide to pick a very hard quest, uh, some investigate investigators, some, yeah, investigators, investigation team, they've gone missing, like a research team, they've gone missing, they've got to find them, and a bunch of people have failed it, so that's not good. Uh, well, before they go on that though, Mile basically tells them all, yeah, you, you lot are relying on me a bit too much, like, you need to, like, start pulling your own weight, uh, otherwise you're going to be crap, and die, and, you know. She makes a fair point, you know? The team should be balanced. It's not balanced at the moment. The other three are around here. They're around the same with a bit of fluctuation. And then Maya is like up here. It's out of frame. That's how good she is. But uh, yeah, so they were like, all right, fair enough. We'll still do the hard quest though because, you know, it makes it makes it sound like we're crap. You're saying we're crap if, uh, if we don't do it. And she's like, that's not what I meant. But she's fired them up now. So I'm sure this can possibly not go bad. Uh, they, you know, they go on it, they fight some monsters, they're all doing alright, even without Mile helping. They're beating some monsters, they are all stronger. They deduce, through science, that a powerful monster showed up or something and messed up the ecosystem, I guess, which is why all the monsters are out of whack. Which is, you know, as I said, science. Uh, there's a something watching them that runs away from a slingshot, a monster, they're like, oh, maybe we should go report this to the guild. And Maya wants to look around more. And they're like, all right. And she's like, I'll help now. So the team is back to full strength. They, they are at now... I mean, how much of their total combat strength is Maya, do you think? Because I'm willing to bet it's at least half is just Maya and then the other three. Like, the other three aren't bad. They're still better than most normal people. But Maya is ridiculous. So, yeah. Uh, she gives magic, ma magic. She gives Mavis a magic drink, and she says, "Only drink one of these a day." So that's an important plot point for later. Uh, they get attacked by some beast people, which you know they're like people with animal. You know what a beast person is, and but you know they fight them off already because they're they're the crimson foul. They're very good, you know, uh, and then they beat them up a bit and then they leave. Then they deduce, this is probably what happened to the investigation team, they got kidnapped by the beast people. So the beast people like from another country, or are they bandits? Are they monsters or are they people? You know, what are they classified as in this world? I'd like to know that, but judging by how the episode ended, I'm not sure we're gonna get that explanation. Although, maybe, I have no idea. I'm gonna assume, based on what we've been told, beast people are like, just enemies. Whether that be from another place or what. I'm not too sure. But Beast People, they're the bad guys. Oh no. They found the base. It's like some old ruins. Which, you know, look like there would be a, a golem or something guarding it. Who knows. Uh, the Beast People are all like, they're working. They're excavating the ruins or something it looks like. Who knows what they're up to. Uh, we get to night time and the Crimson Vow starts scouting around. Like Mission Impossible music starts playing. Dun, 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 dun. Copyright strike. Uh, Pauline, they all enter like a little shed. Pauline gets stuck because boobs. Thumbs up and Mavis, not Mavis, the other two. The other two get annoyed because no boobs, basically. Didn't need to explain that. But that's why they got annoyed. 
teaching all the lessons. They found the prisoners, but the professor, I guess, got taken into the ruins by the, the people, uh, which, you know, and then the pre- they're like, oh, you, 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 you girls can't, you're not strong enough. And then they, they prove they're really strong by Mavis destroys a wall, which I guess, you know, that's, that's pretty encouraging. Um, they go into the ruins, they sneak in, sneak in. Uh, Mavis drinks the drink. They wreck some people after they get seen, you know, standard stuff. One of the beast people, it's the same one from earlier, if I do recall, basically says, don't go deeper. For your own sake, just don't do it. But, uh, of course, they, they don't listen. They save the professor, who is an elf. I didn't write her name down, but she's an elf professor. She's really short. Uh, so, you know, it's fine because she's, like, thousands of years old. That's how it works, right? Uh, but, yeah, then a dragon shows up, which out of nowhere. It turns out this is a elder dragon, which is the strongest monster in the world, which is a bit worrying considering Mile is only average in the world's stats. So, you know, even even the the, the party, the Crimson Vow, cannot damage this elder dragon. So, um, how are they going to win? <laughs> I mean, we'll get to it in a minute. How on earth are they going to win? Because uh, teamwork? It's going to be power of friendship, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be power of friendship. That's what I think, too. Uh, but yeah, then after a bit more of scrapping, Mile dies. She gets her head cracks against the wall and she splats and dies. Rip Mile, you know? What a, what a way to end the series. She's dead. I know we've got one more episode, but it's going to be the other three dying. So, yeah, took a dark turn all of a sudden. Uh, but the, others, the other three don't believe she's dead. And I'm just like, look at how much blood's coming out of her head, man. She's not alive. She's definitely dead. She, I mean, if we apply, like, real-world logic, which you should never do to anime, like, yeah, her her brains would have splattered, which is a bit gross, but hey-o. Mavis drinks all the drinks after this because anger and friend. And then uh, they they all attack it a little bit. They manage to scratch it. So, I mean, that's one thing. Unless Miles got some drinks too. So then she'd drink a load of drinks, and then she'd be able to do dam- a lot of damage to the thing. But she's dead, so... I know she's not dead, probably, but... Ayo, who knows. Uh, basically, they, they decide, we're going to hold you off until Mile comes back. And I'm like, but she could be dead. For all you know, she could actually be dead. You haven't checked the pulse or nothing. I know it's like, friendship, power, believe, believe in my friends and all that. But if my friend got there, you know, smacked against the wall like that, my first thought would be like, oh my god, they're dead, you know? I wouldn't be relying on them. Uh, I know it's very nitpicky of me, but it is one of the things where it's like, come on guys, behave. At least go heal her. Like, <laughs> at least cast some sort of healing spell. Maybe the elf is actually really strong and is going to save them. Or maybe the cat thing, Nano, is going to do something something. I have no... See, I'm just throwing ideas out here. I have no idea how it's going to end. Somehow, they're obviously they're going to defeat the dragon and save the day. I have no idea how, though, but that's a, what I imagine we're going to end the series like. Uh, also, uh, last week, I think it was someone... Uh, it was last week, sorry. Someone said, like, do I think it's concerning this doesn't follow the manga or anything at all? Uh, I mean, first of all, like, I'm used to anime being changed from their source, but... Usually it's for a reason. Either it's because we have to cut some things because we, you know, we've got to cram as much in as we can. Or, you know, they try... Or very rarely this is. Sometimes they actually imp- try and improve it with the anime. I know, shocker. But this time doesn't seem to be any of that. It just seems to be changing it for changing its sake. Like, completely changing it for no real reason. Which is weird. Like, as an anime only, it's it's... I mean, it's not off-putting because obviously I've not read the source, but it's weird and I don't get it. Like, why would you not just... Surely that's more difficult than just taking the source and, and animating it. Like, you, you purposely made your job harder. Maybe maybe the studio is used to doing one sort of show and they, so they took a lot of creative liberties. I have no idea, quite frankly. That stuff's far above my pay grade. I don't get paid to do this. It's completely for free. Uh, so yeah, I have no idea. I guess the answer to the question is, it's weird. I'm not concerned, but I think it's weird. I'll, I'll, get, I'll say that much. Uh, of course, people who have read the source are obviously going to be miffed, because that's how it works. Uh, if 
you know, if something you like has been changed, that's obviously, you're going to be annoyed at that. That just makes sense. But, uh, yeah, I, I haven't minded it. This episode as well, I, it was fine. You know, I, I say it every week, this was an average episode. It was fine. I, I, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. It merely existed. And, you know, maybe things should strive to do more than just exist. But I, I, I do have fun watching this, you know. It is a, a fun show. But uh, anyway, I think I'll wrap this up here. Thank you, everybody, for watching this review. Again, sorry it was two days late. My apo me apologio. That's, oh, man. It's not Spanish. It's no language. It was just me saying words wrong. Um, I will see you next week for the finale for this. Subscribe and stuff if you, so you know when, when it's out on that. Uh, usually it's Monday, but with how things are going at the moment, who knows? Um, I will see you next week, as I said, for the finale. And bye, guys.